Hi everyone, it's Andrea and welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to do my, all my completed colouring pages ever. Up to, up to January 1st, 2020. So everything I've done this year is not included. I think I started colouring around 2016, something like that, 2017. Um, so it's everything I've done since. I mean, I haven't done a huge amount like some people because I have just don't have the time. But um, I will show you what I've done. So I've got some loose pages first, which I'll show you. So this was 2017 because I've actually dated it. I don't always date them. Um, and this is from Jade Summer Kawaii Girls. So there was that one. That was done with markers. And I actually coloured her belly in as well because I didn't realise it wasn't part of her outfit. Um, and it somehow got some sort of leaking marker on it on pen, but I don't know. But it's okay. There's some gel pens on there. There's some stickers on there. There's all sorts on there. Again, this one is from Kawaii Girls by Jade Summer. This one doesn't have a date on it. Um, I'm not sure what pencils. I think that one was done entirely with um, the Erodeton ones. Combo rose some pencils. I got a feeling, including the skin. I'm pretty sure I did one where it was. That's all done with that. Another one from Kawaii Girls by Jade Summer. That was done in again 2017. I don't often do loose paged ones. I do occasionally, but not that often. I've got loads of them, and I just prefer to colour in the books. So I've got so many books. But hey, I've got so many loose pages as well, and some I haven't printed yet. Uh, that one I think is also from Kawaii Girls by Jade Summer. Again, done in pencils, but I don't know which ones. I don't think that was the Erodeton ones. I'm pretty sure it was the other one. Um, nice though. Uh, this one were, is Hannah Lynn. That one was done with Derwent Ink Tents, mostly, and the Derwent Watercolour Skin Tones, which I've only used on this one picture I need to practice with. Again, that's Hannah Lynn, and I have no idea what I used on that one. But I like it, it's really nice, a mad hatter one. Um, and then I've got the two I did just before Christmas, so I've got these two which I downloaded from the Crayola website. So there's that one. And that one was literally just done with Crayola Super Tips. And this one was done with gel pens, um, Wink of Stella, and the background was Pebbles Chalks. So literally, that's all I've done that's loose. So I've got this big folder and hardly anything in it. I will be doing more because obviously now I'm a subscriber for Colour in Heaven. I get an exclusive one every month as well. So, so on to the books. So the first book I've got is Fairyland Colouring Book. Um, this one was sent to me by Carlton Publishing a while back. Uh, I don't think it's got an author in it. And I've done two in this one. It's one of the first books I got. They sent me two and it's one of the first ones I did. So this one would have been done with probably the Marco Rafines, I'm going to say. Um, and this second one is with some random markers I bought from the watch shop. That's the only two I've done in that one. The second book that they sent me was Butterfly's Colouring Book. And I've definitely done one in two, one or two in here. Two again, I think. I started that one, but I haven't finished it. It's just the cover page, just with markers. This one was done with Marco Rafines mostly, and some markers around the edges of the roses. And this one was done with those random markers from what they are. They're not branded. And again, I've started a few other bits in here and haven't finished them, but like that one. I have no idea what pencils those. I think I was using Marco Rafines for them, so I can find that one out. So this is my first stack. Um, it's the last one in the first stack because they're all upstairs and they're heavy to bring down. So the next one is the Dracula Calirón graphic novel, adapted and illustrated by John Green from the novel by well, from the story by Bram Stoker. So I kind of sort of half did this first one. I quite like it half finished. And then this is in there because it was easy to it. So I've done the first page here. So it is to out like a, a graphic novel of Jonathan Harker traveling through 
to visit Count Dracula. He's in the village and they're telling him not to go there. So, and I really have, I mean, I have started the next page, but I really haven't done much on it, as you can see. It's, well, I have, but I've done all the interesting bits and now I've got things that, that are going to be dark and dingy and I just don't want to do it. Um, but I will. Um, I'm going to try and finish my whip in Romantic Country 2 and then I might try and do this one and finish this one off. It's just Once I get past this page, it's not going to be too bad because there's lots of people in it then. I quite like colouring people. So that's that stack. I will go and get some more and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back with the next stack of pictures I've already coloured. Um, so the next one is in Colour In and Relax Flower and Dreams. This is by a company called Relax Art. And I literally just did the first page. And this was using Marco Ruffines. I can remember that. And they went on absolutely beautifully on this page. But it's very, very shiny and very smooth. So I don't know when that was. I didn't date it. I don't always. But uh, yeah, that's that one. Again, relax and art, happiness and contentment. Uh, colour in and relax. I have done one in there. I've got to find it because I haven't marked pages. Because, you know, that would be too easy, wouldn't it? Yeah, there it is. I did this one. Again, I think I used the marker Ruffines just because it, it goes on really easy. There. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh dear, I'm making a right mess of this. Colouring for Mindfulness Garden. And I said this was one of the first books I bought. I bought it from Tesco when I was first starting colouring. It's also one of those where it asks you to doodle, which I don't do the doodling. And I just did this tree. To be fair, I did do some doodling because I put this colour at the bottom because it was just the tree and nothing else. And I thought it looked a bit blank. So I put some green for grass and then some orange and yellow on it, which represented the falling leaves. Why I don't know, but I did. <laughs> Next one is Escape to Oz by uh, Good Wives and Warriors. I've only done the title page. I was thinking of doing this bit as well, but I didn't. But I do like the way that the yellow brick road came out. So I might uh, do this one. It's a nice little book. So it's very portable for taking on holiday if you wanted to. And then Good Wives and Warriors again, Escape from Shakespeare's World. I again have done one in this one. I have started the title page, which is Shakespeare's Globe, and I just haven't finished it. I probably will. I've forgotten I'd even started it. But I did this double spread of um, the set for Romeo and Juliet. So if I just zoom out like slightly. And it just says, two households, both alike in dignity, in fair Verona, where we lay our scene. Dot, dot, dot. Um, so it's just the set of the houses of the Montagues and the Capulets. That one took a long time to do, but I really enjoyed doing it. It was lovely. Uh, I loved that one. Christmas Mandalas by Camellia Injakova. We did one in here at Christmas. As you can see, we've still got a tab in it. Take that out now. And we did this one. I think that's the only one I did. Yeah. Bells. Again, this was just done with um, gel pens, including the Link Shine gel pens that I got for like, they were like three quid on Amazon. I've got another pack now because I use them all the time. They're not going to last long. Um, the Horror Hotel by A.M. Shah. I took this one on holiday to Tenerife with me and I did the dead girl lying by the pool sunbathing in the night and I call it blood pool because I've done the water as being blood. I've added bloody hand and footprints and blood on here where she uh, is lying and just to make it as grotesque as possible as Paul said, he said you've got a terrible imagination, it's horrific. But I kind of like it. I, I, I really like this picture. I think she looks dead. She's sunbathing in the dark. And she's been swimming in a pool filled with blood. I mean, what could you want? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so next is Lacey Sunshine's Halloween Coloring Book Volume 4 by Heather Valentin. I've only done one in here. I did this little witch sitting on the 
pumpkin. I have no idea what I used to colour it. I know the background is Pebbles Chalks and I know that there are stickles on it but other than that I couldn't tell you what I used to colour it and I did it in 2017 so there you go. There we go. Sometimes I, I date them and sometimes I don't. Um, Lacey Sunshine's Old Colouring Book which is volume 15. Again Heather Valentin. Love this book. It's Wizard of Oz. Love the Wizard of Oz. Just got to find the picture I did which was Dorothy on the yellow brick road, I think. If I find it, where's it gone? You can never find it when you want to. Hang on. I am definitely going to do more in this book. I love this one. Ah, so cute. I do apologise. I should have marked them all, but I'm lazy. I don't want to. I can't find it. Oh, this is ridiculous. Gotta be this end then. I swear I have coloured one. I, oh, here it is. Here we go. Okay, so we did Dorothy. I can't again remember which one, which pencils I used. Um, I gave her the red shoes. I think if I was doing it now, I would put stickles on it to make them sparkle, but I didn't. Or gel pen, but there you go. But I do like it. It's really cute. And I did the. Um, yellow brick road and I did red on the outside because in the film you've got the yellow brick road and you've got the red brick road so I just uh, made it look like that. Then we've got the Egypt book, book for adults um, by the colouring book people. I'm not keen on some of the pictures in here but I did do this one which is uh, the mask of Tutankhamun almost and I did get a picture of the mask out and copy the colours as close to as possible. Um, as they were on actually on the mask if you go and look at it. I, I really like this one because this was when I was first starting out and I'm not very good at doing things like gold and metallics but I do think it looks quite nice and shaded and stuff. Yeah, I like it. 2017 so I'd been only doing it for a few months. I started winter of 2016. So there's that one. Let's zoom out. Next one's a bigger book. Make time for yourself. A mindful colouring. I can't remember who this is by. It was in the magazine section of Tesco. As you can see, there's no even introduction page. Is it perfume? I don't think it is. Um, I've just done this one. And I did that with... I won't say fine liners. I did that with my fine liners. I'm sure I did. They're very vibrant. But that's the only one I've done so far in that book. You'll see that a lot of these books have only got one picture in it. It's very unusual for there to be more than one at the moment. There will be later. Um, Vintage Christmas Greetings by Marty Noble. Yeah. For Creative Haven. And I did this one back in 2017. Of the two children, one pulling the other in the sled, which I really like. I will do more of them. I, I say that on all of them. New one I got this last year was Entangled Christmas by Angela Porter. As you can see, still got the sticky in it. I did this one. This was done com completely with gel pens and nothing else. Um, and I do like it. I use normal gel pens on the background and most of it, and then the glittery ones on the trees and the swirly bits. Uh, Flower Mandela's by Marty Noble. Now I have done a few in this one because this is one of my favourite books. Just sitting around and colouring in and, you know, using markers or gel pens or whatever. Um, so I think I've done, I'm doing them in order in this book. So this one I did in July, as you can see, I've written on it in silver gel pen. These are nice, they've all got black um, backgrounds. And that was done with glitter gel pens. This one was done with metallic gel pens. Again, I don't know when. I didn't date it. but. And then this one was just done with gel pens, I think. Yeah, just gel pens. No glitter, some fluorescence. Oh, well, there's another one. There's actually four done in this one. Wow. And then there's this one. This one's got a bit of glitter on it. I can see some something glittery on there, maybe. Yeah, there's a bit of glitter on there as well and some fluorescent, so yeah, that one. I'm actually going to keep that to one side. I'm not going to put that back. I'm going to use that one. I love doing my 
I've done four mandalas. Is it four or three? Three mandalas this month already. I do like doing them. Uh, Martin Noble, Day of the Dead colouring book. I did one in here, which is this very bright sugar skull. It took me ages, but I really did enjoy it. And I will be doing more. I do like them. I might use glitter pen, pen on the next one I do, as well as normal markers. I think that was Sharpies looking at it, I'm going to say, because it's bled through. That's Sharpies. Autumn Scenes by Teresa Goodridge. I've done one in here, which was the Autumn Picnic. I didn't like this when I finished it back in November uh, 2017. But actually looking at it now, I actually quite like it. I like the way it looks. I mean, I didn't colour in the middle of these flowers for some reason. But I think it looks, I think it looks quite, these ones here, I think it looks quite nice as it is. You know, it's just, I can't remember what pen, I think those polychromos, I'm not sure. Designer Desserts, um, this one again is a Creative Haven by Eileen Rudisil Miller. I've done one in here, just gotta find it. I do like these, but I love colouring. I am so, and this was done with pencils, but again, I'm not sure which ones. And I'd say markers of some description. I think, yeah, probably Sharpie's looking at it. But um, got a bit, of, bit of glitter on there, I think. Is there? Is it my imagination? It's mostly pencils. There is some glitter gel pen on these flowers. I didn't do the heart on that one for some reason. Or did I? No, I didn't. Um, mostly pencils there, but I, I can't remember which ones. Prismas, maybe? Don't know. That's my problem. I don't write down what I use. It's all right at the end of the month. I can tend to remember. Uh, the Green Ladies Zen Hella Colouring Book by Gwen Davis. <coughs> I did The Cat on the Moon. And again, I think this was done with Sharpies because it's bled through. Yeah. So that's been done with Sharpies. I like that. I just did the background because I hate leaving them blank. Now I would probably paint it with acrylic paint rather than markers. But I do like the, the colours on the moon. I think they come out really nice. The Green Lady Zen Mandala Colouring Book. Again, this is by Gwen Davis. And I just did that one. That was back in June 2017. And that's been done with gel pen. Yeah, glitter gel pen. <laughs> I love glitter gel pen on these things. No background, just a nice white background, but I do like that. And then we've got the Green Lady Zen Mandala Colouring Book Volume 2. And I have done one in here, if I can find it. Let's get the back. Oh, it's the very last one. There you go, that's probably been done with um, some sort of marker, but not, I'd say it's probably more likely to be Creole Super Tips than anything else. <clears> or <throat> something, it's done with markers of some description. <laughs> I don't think it's gone through enough to have been Sharpie. But there we go, that's a nice one. Um, then the Green Ladies a Cottage Garden Colouring Book. I've done one in here and that was the Green Lady. Did this as a colouring chat on the channel actually. So you can go and look for that one. Um, I think it was either Polychromos or Prismacolor but you'll be able to see that on there. And I've put some stickles on there to give her a bit of um, thing. It might have actually just been glitter glue actually. I think that might be stickles. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah. So it's all green, it's like she's coming out of the foliage and I enjoyed doing that one. Colour It's Colours of the Decades. I've only done the title page in here, I believe, not that one though. Um, the name page with all different colours. Again, that was done with Sharpies. Very psychedelic, love it. Colour It Colourful Christmas, we did this one on camera. We did the pattern of the gingerbread men and women and houses and it was done with gel pens, all glitter gel pens and some Wink of Sala. I like this one. I'm gonna put all these books back later before we do the next pack. Four Friends by Deborah Muller. Again, this is one I got in around November, October, November time. I did one in it. 
and I used the Touch New Markers because it's before I got the other blends and I did the little girl or the friend and her dog sitting outside with pumpkins a dog and she's just enjoying the late autumn sunshine with the leaves so I just thought it was a really nice picture this one well, next is the 1950s Vogue adult coloring book by Zen Masters I do like these Zen Master books I want to get more of them and I did this lady standing by the car so I made the car kind of a pink Cadillac color I don't know what kind of car it is um, I did the stars now I'd put gel pen on the stars if I was doing this now and I only did this last year I thought she had a look sort of a look of Lauren McCall in How to Marry a Millionaire about her so that's why I went with the nice dark hair I like that one but then it's the 50s so I'm gonna <laughs> Next one is the totally bodacious 80s colouring book and I did one in here a long time ago, back in 17 and this one is the banner on Andrea's Attic colouring page, colouring group on uh, Facebook I probably will change that at some point but that is the one Put the different colours in the hair, lots of neons um, I don't know what pencils I used apart from on the back I used the couple of Koinor tritones that I have. I only have two of them because they're so expensive. And I got sort of like the brick and fire ones, ember and something. Um, but yeah, I like that because again, I'm tired, excuse me. I grew up in the 80s so I love that book. And then we got Fabulous 50s. Now I really like the picture I did in this one and it was one of the earliest ones I did. And I was really pleased and I think it was with I'm not sure what pens I'm going to say. I think it might have been Prismacolors. But I just like the way that rock and roll blends from red, orange to yellow and then back out to red. I just thought, I mean, it's not brilliant, but I thought it was pretty good. Especially for when it was one of the first earliest pictures I did. And I'd not, never tried to, to blend things like that so it radiates. And I was really pleased with that. I like my my uh, my jukebox, but that's the only one I've done it, sadly. Last book in this stack is A Fairyland by Molly Harrison. This was one of the very first books I bought and I really like the artwork in it. I love Molly Harrison. I think I've done two in this one. I've just got to find them. They're not the best because it's when I really, really was first starting. So, there is this one. I do like this picture. I think this is lovely. If you look at the the pillar, I don't know if you can see the the red lines running through it. I thought I'd make it look a bit like marble, so I put some streaks through it. Gradiated wings, but I think this was done with the Marco Ruffines. I think that's what I did this with. I'm sure there's another one in here. Let me just have a quick look. There's some lovely pictures in here. I think there's another one in here. There might not be. I might be imagining it. I thought I did another one in here, but it doesn't look like I did. Look at all the books she's got. And this is one of the older ones. Oh, I thought I'd done another one in here. I couldn't have. Oh, well, that just means I'm going to have to colour in it soon, doesn't it? <clears throat> oh, yeah, it looks like I have only just done that one. I'm just going to... Yeah, that is the only one I've done, I think. Oh, I thought I had. Shame, I thought I'd done another one. Oh well. So that's all for that stack of books. I will go and get some more and we'll have a look at some more of the um, my completed colouring pages. This video is going to be quite long, by the way, but uh, I'll be right back with some more. Okay, back with the second stack of books of completed colouring pages. So let's go through these. Next one, Christmas one, uh, Colour in Heaven's Nice Little Christmas. And I did, I've got a tab in it and I still can't find it. This one, uh, oh it is up to the uh, right, the little mouse in her little house. And that was done with the gold Faber pencils, the Faber Castell 24 set that I got as a gift with my Christmas subscription. So. I got the year subscription and I got, well it's a six month subscription which you renew in six months time which Paul is going to do for my birthday 
um, and there was a gift of 24 gold Faber pencils that came with it so I used those and, and it turned out really nice I like that one it's so so sweet then we got the Karen Heaven Christmas special and we did just this one of the stocking on a tree and on that one I used touch new markers glitter gel pens for certain bits of it um, some wing of Stella and pebble chalks on the background as you can see I keep them all in chunks so all the my current heaven all the Maria Trelay will be able to gather all the Hannah Carlson so you'll see a lot of the same author or type of books in one go. Colour in Heaven Halloween Special issue 54 they're in the wrong order doesn't matter I'll sort them out later um, this one I did a couple in because I took this one on holiday to Tenerife so I've just got to find them so we did did one of lemon shortcake, shortbread, I keep calling it shortcake and shortbread. So we did um, this one. Um, these were all done using Black Widows because those were the pencils I took with me on holiday. And I'm still missing the dark skin tone set, which I'm hoping to get at the end of the month. If I can afford it. I also did this one. By Vanessa Yotamoto. I liked this one of the little wizard witch casting spells and using a little dragon to heat the cauldron. And I'm sure I did one more. I did do one more. I did one of these ones. I did this one by Nikki Burnett, which I really liked, thought it was really cute. So those ones, I did three out of that one because I took it on holiday. So you take a book on holiday, I only took two books with me. And it'd be the same in the summer when we go to Tenby, I'll only take two books with me. And, and uh, one set of pencils, I haven't decided which yet. Might be the Black Widows again. I don't know, might not be. Nouveau Fantasy Special. I did one in this one, if I can find it, I think I've gone past it. Let me find it. No. Uh, oh, it's horrible when you can't find what you're looking for. I, like, I really like this book, like Guinevere and Arthur and the Lady of the Lake. Definitely going to do some more of this one. Uh, where are you? Oh, it's in the middle. I did the Green Man. Now this one was done with polychromos pencils and gel pen for the, <coughs> the Celtic knotwork around the end and the writing in, and the little Celtic badge at the bottom. I love this one. This is how I visualised it and I, it came out really well. I was really, really pleased with that one. So yeah. Then we've got the Halloween special from the 2018, issue 41. I think I've only done one in this one, sadly. It's always only one. And it was Nocturnal Companions. Now, I've done another one. I'm sure I have because um, that looks like it was done with touch new markers and I've only really started using them again this year so there must be, yeah there is another one um, so that one was done with touch new markers that was done this year, like 2019 that's quite nice and I did, that was done in 2018 the Molly Harrison one, I like Molly Harrison one. and that was just done, I don't know what pencils it's got a silver pencil on it but it could have been a mixture because there were times when I would just mix them all up I quite like that one. I think actually that might have been the Faber-Cassell Classics. I think. And then we've got uh, 50 Wintertime Mandelas by Camellia Angel Cova. We coloured this one on camera and it's the little kitten in the blanket playing with the bauble and he's got a little scarf. I like that one. I'm looking forward to doing more in this one this year. It does, I mean... Maybe winter time, but I'll do them whenever I feel like it. I'm not one that's going to be bound by, oh, it's Halloween, I've got to do Halloween. I'll, if I want to do a, a horror picture or a witch picture, I'll do it any time of year. Christmas, I will be doing Christmas in July, even if it's only one picture a week. Celtic Colouring Book by Search Press. Yep, yeah, I've only done one in this one. I said I'm not keen on this one. I said that in my thing, and I just did this um, Celtic Cross. 
and that was we're done with some metallic brush pens but I'm not actually clean on the metallic brush pens <coughs> they're alright but they're not bright and vibrant enough for me I probably use glitter gel pens on them now the link shine ones I might try them in this book Easy Flower Mandalas, Adult Colour Book by Stephanie Miro. I have done a few in this one, hence why there is a piece of paper in it. Go find them though, because they're not, I've not done this one in order. Let's go from the back. I do like these actually. They're not, they're, as you can see, they're really simple. But uh, I did that one. That was definitely done with Sharpies. <laughs> uh, let's see if there's any more. I'm sure I've done more than one in this book. I might not have though. Oh yeah, here's another one. Again, that was done with Sharpies. That might be it though. Might be just the two. I'm definitely going to do some more in this one. These are the sorts of things I like to do in the evening when I'm watching TV. Oh no, there's one more. Again, done with Sharpies, as you can tell. In this book I just pick out three or four colours. Yeah, it's just three. That's three. Three or four colours and just do a whole mandala with three or four colours. And another one I might use six or seven, depends on how I feel. But there's that one. I do like the way they do all the shading. I don't on mandalas, they're just simple colouring for me. Then we've got Terry Pratchett's Discworld by Paul Kidby. He did the illustrations. We've only done one in this because I'm terrified of ruining it. And we did Hamish parachuting. Hamish tumbled through the sky and then something ballooned above him and the fall became just a gentle floating like thistledown. He landed and a pair of Tiffany's pants, the one with the rosebud pattern, settled on top of him. So Hamish is one of the wee free men. I really enjoyed this one. We did this one on camera um, and I can't remember what pencils we used. It might have been Prismas. It might have been Something else might have been colour soft. I really can't remember. It was that long ago. I should keep a colouring journal, shouldn't I? And um, put in it what picture I've done from what book and what I use. But I, I'm never going to do that. I'm not that organised. Winter Dreamlings by Edwina McNamee. We did one of those this year because it's still got the pink tab in it. But I'm going to take it out now. And that one was done with Touch 5 markers and gel pens and Winker Star. That's the only one I've done had in that book because I've got so many Christmas books and winter books. I just wanted to try and do one in each one. I've still got seven I haven't touched. Tina Nolog, again, Edwina McNamee. This one's one I had a couple of years ago and I only did this one. I think I started this at winter and finished it for Christmas in July. Um, and again, it's touch new markers with stickles. As you can see, lots of, I don't know if you can actually, but there are lots of stickles on there. So, yeah, I like that one. I, that's why I quite like the black, the black pages. It really pops out. We've got Dreamlings. Again, by Edwina McNamee. Now, I've only done one, and I've done the title page. And I think I started that with Black Widows, so I'll probably finish it with Black Widows. I kind of got bored with it. I must admit, I don't know why. If I had to just, that's why I don't like to leave things, because if I leave things, I get bored with them. If I just do it and plough through it over the, a few days and get it done within two or three days, I'm fine. But if I leave something for ages, I get so, I don't want to do it. So that's why I try not to have too many whips. It's a lovely book, though. Uh, <clears throat> Gothic by Selena Fennec is next. And um, as you know, this is one of the artists that I love. So I just got to find, I'm not sure whether I've done one or two in this one. There's always two sets in her books as well. <clears throat> I did this one. And I think she looked like Paige from Charmed. Is it Rose McEwen? So I sort of tried to make her look a bit like her. And I think she does just a little bit. I like that one. I'm sure I've done another one in this book though. I might not have, but I thought I had. Maybe not. Oh no, I have. And I've done this one, Autumn in in lace. Again, this was one of the earlier ones. I think this was done with the Faber-Castell Classics. The other one was done with either Prismacolors or Girls Off, or possibly even Polychromos. I can't remember. But I do like that one. And again, I can do her again. Night Magic, Gothic and Halloween colouring book. We've only done one in this one, and that was this sh last Halloween. I'm just going to, there it is, we did um, Come Fly With Me. Again, I'm thinking, I'm going to say that was Colour Soft. But it could have been 
colours. But I think it, no, that was Colour Soft. I'm sure that was um, the Derwent Colour Softs. I do like those pencils. <coughs> Sorry, I'm getting a sore throat. So that's that one. I've got to do more in this book. There's some really nice pictures in it. Festive Magic, Fantasy Christmas by Selena Fennec. We did one in this one. I've had this book over a year and I've done one picture in it. And we did The Bauble Theory. Prisma Colours, I believe, and gel pens. But I like that one. We did this one on camera. So there's a colour in chat doing that one, or a couple of them actually. Uh, Enchanted Magical Forest, Selena Fennec. This one I, I, I like, but some of the pictures are quite in depth. I've only done one in this one. If I can find it, and it, it's this one, which is a lilac magic. So of course I've done her in purples and lilacs. I think she looks really nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. Again, I'm going to say that was either Prism, I'd say that's Prismacolors looking at it, but yeah, that one was Prismacolors. Uh, the next one again, Selena Fennec, and this is the Goddess and Mythology colouring book. I don't know whether I've done one or two in this one. Obviously definitely one because it's in this pile. But I do want to do lots in this one. I know which one I did definitely do in this one. Well, we haven't found it yet. I should have put tabs in. And that was Coventina, the Roman British goddess of wells and springs. She holds a magical chalice of healing. So I kind of did it like bath stone in the background. So it looks like she's like in, in the Roman baths at Bath. Which, and I just really liked it. And I gave her sort of grey and black hair and all blues because she's in the water on her dress. I think that's the only one, must be. i got to do more in this one, I like this book. So there's that one. And then I know I've only done one in this one, which is Mythical Mermaid, Selena Fennec. She has got another mermaid one, which I have to get. Um, let me just find it. This one took ages. Um, sea of Roses, it's called. So this one I'm really proud of. I still really like this. You can't, you can't really see how that it's metallic fish scales, but they are multicoloured, as you can see. And this one, just to show that you do not need the most expensive pencils in the world. You don't need polychromos or luminance. I'm really proud with this turned out, and this was done with Faber-Castell Classics. Nothing else, just the Faber-Castell Classics. Um, I think I've got the 48 set. It took me a long time to do, but I'm really proud of it. I think it looks, for, for those pencils which are very hard and they're sort of like, they're not, they're student grade, they're not an artist grade pencil. I used the metallics on her scales and I used all of them. I used the, the blue, the, the red, the gold, the silver to get her scales looking sort of like oily fish scales, which is what fish scales look like. The roses, it, it took a long time to do the scales because I coloured each one of the scales individually. It took a really, really long time. But I'm really proud of that. I really like that picture. Yeah, I like that one. I even gave her fish scale coloured lips. <laughs> so that's the last of the Selena Fennec books that I've coloured in. Yeah, I really like that one. And then we've got Hannah Lynn, Fairy Tale Princesses and Storybook Darlings. I've only done one in this one, and I'm not going to be able to find it now, it's further back than that. I forget with Hannah Lynn, she puts the two together, and we did Waiting for Peter Pan. So we've got Wendy sitting on her bedspread, looking out the window, waiting for Peter Pan to come with all her toys around. Again, this one took forever to do because of the detail. Um, and it's the detail that bores me, I will admit it, but I did still like doing this one. And I think this was done with Polly's. It might have been Prismas. I, I can't remember. I, again, I can't remember. I've done, you know. Next one is a Whimsy Girls Christmas colouring book. Festive Girls, Fairies and more. We've only done the one in this one. And this one is, uh, I think it's Santa's Little Helper. And her eyes look really freaky on the camera. They look red, but it's actually a very deep brown, very sort of reddy brown. Um, but it makes her look quite, 
quite scary, I'm not gonna lie. Oh dear, what am I like? What am I thinking? Making it look like that. But this one took two years to do it. I started it in 2018 and I did some of it. <laughs> I did this bit and this bit. And that's about, and the tree, I think, most of the tree. And that's about it. Um, but that was done with polychromos. I started it with polychromos and I finished with it. And I think I might put a bit of Winkersteller on there. I can't really tell on the white bits, but I don't know. But yeah, it took me a long time to finish that. They're so detailed. I do like them. Don't get me wrong. I think Hannah Lynn's work is fantastic, but there's so much detailing on them. And when you look at the ones on the cover as well, look at how much detail she puts into them. She's an artist, she's going to. It can be quite intimidating, which is why it's hard to do. But I do love this book and I'm looking forward. I've, I've done another one in this. That's not the only one I've done. I have done another one in this somewhere. I did the ice skater. The year before, when I, the year I first got it. There is another one in here. you just have to wait for me to find it. Sorry about that, I forgot. But there is another one in here that I've done. So I have done two. That's a nice one, I'll be doing that one this year. Where's the ice skater gone? Oh no, I know I did another one in here. This video's gonna be so long and it's mostly gonna be me flipping through the books looking at the pictures I've actually done. Oh, let me have a look at the front to see where she is. Hang on. Uh, oh, it's, it's literally the one after, the one we've just looked at. Oh, there we go. And I did that one the first year I, I got the book. And again, I think it was probably, who knows, Prismas, I think, on that one, or possibly Color Soft. I don't think it was Polly's. But it, you know, it might have been. But I thought it was cute, because I used to go ice skating. I love ice skating, so I got in the middle. So I thought I would do the ice skater first, because I thought I would enjoy that. And I did. I mean, there's not a lot you can do with snow. You just put a little bit of blue around it so there's a bit of shading, but leave most of it white. I put a little bit of green at the bottom of the tree so that it's not completely covered in snow. But yeah, did that one as well. Sorry about that. That's the end of this stack. I'll be back in a second. Guess what? With some more. Okay, here we are with the next stack of books of completed colouring pages. Um, there's only one more stack after this and then we are done, I promise. So it's not going to be a huge video. So the first one is 100 Magical Patterns by Jade Summer. I have done a few in this one. So I did this one in December, which was part of Anne's From a Colour of Life, Colourful I can't speak, challenge to just use every single marker in a box. And I used the um, Crayola Super Tips 100 set and it was good fun and I will be doing it again on these pans. Um, I did this one, this was with Sharpies. I'm pretty sure I've done more in here. There's a hundred of these and I've got to find them now. I'm pretty sure I've done more because I tend to do these every month. And I will be keeping this book out, not putting it away and doing one. And I think I'm just going to do them in order. I'm sure there's another one. Maybe not. I'm sure there was. Oh yeah, it was right next to a couple of pages over. And that one, and again, I think that was Crayola Super Tips, to be honest, looking at it. But I'm pretty sure it was Crayola Super Tips. I really like those, actually. They're really nice. So that was um, Jade Summer's 100 Magical Patterns. We did those three in there. Christmas Patterns, Jade Summer. These are all Jade Summer books. These are just the order I pulled them off of the, the stack. And we did this one. So it's done last December. I think I actually did them in November, actually. Um, and it's all glitter gel pens and some Winker Stella, I think. Yeah, Winker Stella. Um, yeah, really nice. And I also did this one, again, with gel pens. Um, not all glitter gel pens, although I did do glitter you know, gel on them. And this one I'm doing in order that they're in the book. So as you can see, it's very shiny, but it's also not. So again, some Winkersteller on the snow to make it glisten. <coughs> and just some, some glitter gel pens. That's all I've done in that one so far, but I do like that one. So I'm just gonna put these back in the right order because I'm quite fussy what order these ones go in. Don't act well, I'm not, but 
Christmas colouring book. This is the first volume. There's three volumes. I've only coloured in one and books one and two. And I have got all of the books. So I did the puppy in the, the gift box. And this was done with... I want to say... Prismas or Derwent Colour Softs. And there's definitely, obviously, stickles on the ball walls. And that was done in 2017, so you can tell how long ago it was. <laughs> oh dear, I need to colour more. Christmas Colouring Book Volume 2, I coloured in in 2018. I do love those bells. I can't remember what I coloured in this one, let's find it. What was that in there? There. We did this one. I don't even remember doing that one, but I must have. I don't know if I've done another one in this one. Is that it? I think that's it. I'm going to say that's it. That's it, yeah. Again, I, I don't actually remember it, but it's got a lot of glitter gel pen on it, and that's probably Sharpie on the background there. But, yeah, that's a nice one. Don't remember that at all, and that's terrible. Sometimes you get to one that you don't actually remember doing. Uh, Unicorns, Volume 2. Oops, sorry, I want to be a sack. There we go. Um, I've only done one in this book. It's not a very good one either. I was just playing with my touch five markers. Um, and they started running out because I was doing him this colour. No, that colour. And then it ran out. And then another one of my colours ran out. So he's sort of a multicoloured unicorn. But it was fun to do, and it was just a nice and simple one. Then we have Vampires, the first volume, and it's the line art version, not the grayscale. And I've only done one in this one again, and I can't find it. That's not the first one. I know I did it with pencils, but I can't remember which ones. This is hopeless. I'm useless today, aren't I? around here there's finger marks here so it can't be there yeah, there we are it's the very last one before the second set started that's doing and curls off i'm sure i had to make him look a bit more rough and ready rugged i didn't want him looking like something out of twilight i like my vampires rough and rugged i think richard armitage in robin hood sky kids and that's what to me what a vampire should be like <laughs> sorry there we go vampires volume two anyway enough of that again i've only done one in this one just got to find it. And it's that one. Yes, I quite like that one. Possibly Prismas or Derwent's. I'm not 100% sure. I've got to be honest, I don't keep a record. I should do. I might start doing that. Is get a notebook and keep a record of what picture I do and what I use on it. I'll make doing videos like this so much easier. The next one, I do know. Because the next one is the Nightmare colouring book. And I did Death. And this one was done with the Touch 5 markers. And it took me a while because I did a little bit each night and I didn't rush it. There is a little bit of glitter on the, I think, some gel pen on the um, the hourglass. I'm not sure. that I put this on some of them, but it's... Uh, I wanted him to be kind of like Death from Terry Pratchett rather than a scary Death. So I kind of like made his eyes blue because Death in Terry Pratchett's got like sapphire piercing blue eyes and, I, and he's carrying the thing I just wanted to make him kind of look like you know Terry Pratchett's death so not as scary as the one on the cover but I like mine Haunted House this book I had had for ages and then I did something in it last year you can see how old it is because they don't put that picture in the front anymore I did the churchyard I think it was doing colour soft and I'm, I wasn't that keen on it but I thought I'd do it <coughs> I like the hand. I think the hand looks quite good. Um, yeah. It's Summer's Halloween colouring book. I did one in here last year. You can see, I've put some mark there to see what the pencils look like. Oh no, I might have done two in this one. Oh, I've done more than one in this one. Whoa ho! Whoa ho ho! I, oh yeah, I remember I did this one with, with markers and it ran when I put the silver glue pen on it so it kind of ruined it but I don't care I think it still looks good <laughs> and black uh, acrylic paint 
And then I did the cute little witch as well. As you can see, it went through a bit, but that's fine. But I didn't do a background for her for some reason. I think that's the only ones I've done in that one. Yours. Yeah, that's it. So there's that one. Live your dreams. The, I'm not a big, I've said this before, person for the uh, ones. But I liked this one. If I can find it, the one I've done. These are all different ones, so. Uh, did I use markers in this one? I hope you can hear me because my voice is starting to go. I can't find it. Oh, here it is. Oh, I did this one, um, which I think was Sharpies and gel pens. Or metallic pens. Yeah, metallic gel pens. Or metallic pens, anyway. If you always dream big. Yeah. And then the next one is a Jade Summer Flower Girls. I do like these pretty girls. Just going to find the one I did. There it is. I quite like her. I think she's really pretty. She looks like a Disney princess. Excuse me, I'm so thirsty. Um, I'm not sure what pencils they were. Prismas maybe. I really don't know. I'm going to keep a journal with all the different colours I use and what pencils I use and what things. Sometimes I can remember and sometimes I can't. Cute fairies. Bay Jade Summer. And I've done this one, and I did this one with a blue fairy. I th it might have been, this one might have been done with the feeler pencils. And I got some gel on there, because there's some glitter on here, so. I've obviously done some gel pen. Yeah, on her wings, uh, and on the outside, so. There's that one. The Alice in Wonderland one, uh, like I've, I've said before, they've done two Alice in Wonderland books, but I've only got this one. And I did this one of her. Again, I can't remember what pencils. I do want to say... Don't know. I'm going to say Prisma colours, actually, I think. Maybe it might be a mixture, because sometimes I mix them up and I might use Prismas and Derwent or Polychromas and Prismas. I, I'm not one that does everything, that has to do everything in one colour, one particular brand of pencils I will mix them up but I've only done that one in there I've got this cute Easter colouring book for beginners um I just bought it because I wanted an Easter one and I, as I, I've said some of these simpler colouring books when Jennifer's older although I'm doing that one could do them I don't know which one I've done I'm have to... this one I like because it actually shows you all the different pictures inside it I've definitely done one in here though. Where are you? Where are you? Maybe I haven't. I'm sure I've done one in here. There it is. Yes, Easter eggs. I did Easter eggs. That was fun. I think that's the only one I've done. So there's obviously they're just pencils. I don't think there's any gel on there. No, just pencils. Again, I couldn't tell you which ones they were. I do apologise. I'm hopeless. Then we've got Island Paradise. And I like this one, but again, I've only done one. These are all landscape ones. And I've done this one of the girl sitting on the beach. She's not brown, but she's getting a bit pink. It's a bit like me. So I enjoyed doing that one. There's a lot of this liney stuff, which I don't get why they do that, but I don't mind. I quite enjoyed that one. Under the Sea. These are some of the older ones, but I do like them. I've done one in here. This one actually took me a long time to do when I found it, and I think it was Prismas. And you wouldn't think that would take a long time, but it might have been actually might have been doing. <coughs> But what I did is I did it all and then I went over it all with this blue. So you can't really see it, but I've gone over it. I feel focus. No, my focus on it, unfortunately. I went over everything in there. The coins don't look particularly coloured, but they are coloured sort of grey and, and bronze. Just so that it looks like it's all underwater. So there's that one. And then we've got mermaids. 
Let's have a look at mermaids. Uh, I don't know. I like these mermaids. I don't know why I haven't done more of them. Probably because I've got 10 million colouring books. Alright, I've got about between 150 and 200. And I'm not sure where I am at the moment with it. I've got to count them all. So this one's quite nice. I enjoyed doing that one. It's got a bit of grayscale to it, but not a lot. But yeah enjoyed that one again I couldn't tell you what it was so from now on I will start doing it but usually when I do my wrap ups at the end of the month I can still remember what I've used hidden garden and I just did the well it's the only one I've done with the grapes on the vine nice and pretty and that was done in 2017 so there's no way I'm going to remember what that was it's going to be either prismacallus or callasoft maybe feelers I, I don't know I can't remember when I've got the pencils you see Delicious desserts. See, I think this was one of the first Jude Summer books I ever coloured in. And I did this one. And this was with... I'm going to say... I don't know. I want to say Prismacolor. But I don't, I can't be sure. But I have used stickles on it as well. So, it's nice. You can see the stickles, can you? And yeah, just there it's shiny in places. Again, that's a really nice one. I, I don't know why I haven't done any more. Angels. Again, I'm not big on angels because I like angels, but I'm not religious. So I just like the way they look. And I did her kind of purple. She's my purple angel with all the blue and there's gel pen on it and different colours of blue in the sky. And I like the way she came out. I really like that one. Again. That was doing, I think. The dress was, I'm sure. But uh, again, it's one of those things I can 100% remember. I'm terrible. Right, Grim Fairy Tales is the last one in the stack. Hooray! Um, yeah, Grim Fairy Tales. Again, I've only done one and it's the cover page from Cinderella as you can see I've actually signed it Rhea which is sort of Andrea it's in gold you can't actually read it and the date I did it was May 2017 and I've done her in a classic dark blue dress this was definitely Prismacolor because the colour I think was Tuscan red and I used up so much of it but I've used it up a lot on other things so because it's a lovely colour and I need to get a new one um, so yeah, so I did that title page from Cinderella, um, lots of blues, and there's blue stickles or gel pen or blue pen on there on her dress to make her sparkle. I've got gold in her hair to make her hair sparkle. Um, yeah, so I like that one. I need to do more of that. I'm going to do this book in order, I think, so the next one I'll do will be her in rags. But I think I will do it in order. I mean, look at how detailed that dress is. It's going to be horrendous. Especially if I want to put all the stickles and glue on it and sparkly bits. <laughs> anyway, that's the end of that stack. We have one more stack of completed pages to go. And we're done. So I'm going to take a sip of tea and I'm going to go and get the next stack of books. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, here we are. Last stack of colouring books that I've actually coloured in. Hooray! And I'm just looking for the first picture. Right. So, the next one I've got is the Kaleidoscope Colouring Book by Seven Oaks. This is just like patterns. Uh, I've only done one in this one and I did this one. I did make the mistake of doing it in Sharpies when I didn't realise it would bleed through as badly as it did. But then, that's fine. I'm not bothered about the picture on the other side. Um, if I was, I would do them with, I think I'll do them with Crayola Super Tips and if they're really fine, fine liners from now on. I did that one. The next book I've got is the Art Therapy Star Wars Anti-Stress Colouring Book. Now, I have only done one in here, but Paul's been colouring in this, and I'll show you Paul's colouring as well when I find them. This is one I get out when Paul fancies a colour, which isn't very often. So he did, he did that one. <laughs> so he decided to put Obi-Wan in a pink suit. And he did, he did another one. He did um, C-3PO, I think. And if I can find it, I'll show it, but if I can't, I can't. But there's the one I did. I did Yoda. Um, gel pens, pencils, and acrylic 
paint. And that was done May the 4th, 2017. Oh, and there's, there's Paul's C3PO, which I quite like that one, actually. <laughs> so Paul does have a colour every now and again, but he only colours in this one. Twilight Garden by Maria Trelle, the only one of her book, three of the three of her books that I've got that I've coloured in. If I can find it. There it is. I did the strawberries and the raspberries. Little strawberry flowers and buds. I thought that was kind of cute. Hmm. I do like her books. I do want to do more in these. So there's that one. I don't know what pencils that was. Prisma colours, I think. I, I just don't know. Uh, Hannah Carls and Seasons. I've done two in this one. I did the Seeds and Sunbeams. Um, again, I'm not sure what pencils. Do and I think, maybe. And there's some stickles on there as well. Just some random stickle drops because I thought it would look nice. And the other one I did in here was the one I did last Christmas of the little mice in the tree with the ornaments and the candy cane. So this was done with polychromous pencils, glitter gel pens and pebbles chalks on the background. I like that one. So next one is Magical Dawn. And I just gotta find them. I think it's either one or two in this one. So I did that one. I believe that one is in the um, Colour in Heaven special this month. So I did that one. Have I done another one in this one? I'll have a quick look. Oh, I should have done marked these up first. If I ever do this again, I will mark them all up. Maybe that's it in this one. Yeah, that's it in that one. And then we've got Summer Nights. I do love Hannah Carlson's books. I'm just not that good a colourist. So I, I did that one. I think that was one of the first ones I did in, in this book. I quite like that with the lilies. Bit of gel pen and some kind of pencil. I'm pretty sure there's another one in here. If not, it was in another book and I've missed it. Because I know I have done another one that I haven't shown you. I might have to look for it. I've done that one. I actually posted this one on Instagram and Hannah liked it. So I was really pleased with that. There is another, ah, there it is in this one. This is the one I've done the most in. And I did the, the little stop clock, stopwatch or pocket watch. And I did that with gel pens. Back in 17, God, it doesn't seem like I was that long ago I was colouring in these. Alan Roberts, The Beauty of Horror 2, Guliana's Creepatorum. Another gorgeous book. We did this one at Halloween with the Bibliophile Colorist for Biblio Horror, uh, The Shining Twins, and we used um, W. H. Smith's watercolors, and I um, and I think I did ink tents on the carpet because the red wasn't the color I wanted. Um, and then I think I used W. H. Smith's pencils just to finish it all off. But th yeah, that's the only one I've done in this one. A Romantic Country by Erie. Um, I started doing the map. Or well, the north part of the map, but I haven't finished it yet. And that's with ink tents. I'm not very good with ink tents, but I do like using them. So I'll probably finish it off with um, just normal coloured pencils. And then I think I've done a couple in this one actually. Not enough, obviously. I've never finished a colouring book yet. And I'm not doing Henry's books in this book, so I just did one. I did that one. I'm sure I've done another one. Yeah, I have. Here we are. And I did this one. And I think this was the colour along a few years ago. I'm going to say Prismacolors and the Coinor Tritones. I've only got the two of them. And the Tritones are in with the Prismacolors. Um, just for the, the bricks. Because I quite like those. So there's that. The next one is Ivy and the Inky Butterfly by Johanna Basford. Um, I haven't quite finished this yet because I ran out of black when I was doing it. I was doing it with just glitter gel pens. So I'm going to go back and try and finish that off soon. Especially as I've got some amazing glitter, glitter colours now. Yeah, I think so. 
so yeah I haven't quite finished I've ran out and I haven't done that bit and I haven't done that bit that bit and that bit but I will do those shortly and I've done the this book belongs to page which is only tiny on this one and then I did this first page because I do want to do this in order so I can read the story and I'll probably colour ivy different every time because it's a fantasy so why not and I don't know what pencil this was I really don't I couldn't even begin to guess unfortunately but I do like that I wasn't keen on it to start with but now actually looking at it I really like it so that's cool Johanna Lasford, Johanna's Christmas is next. Let's have a sip of my tea. Now this is one of the books I've actually done a few in. I think I've done more in this book than any other book. Let's go find them. So I did the sleigh. So again, that's pencils. I don't know which ones. Some glitter glue, not stickles, just glitter glue. And um, pebbles chalks on the back. Doesn't look like I've done much, but I have done more in here than some books. Oh, I love that. And I probably won't be able to find any more now. I know I've done some more. I can think of at least two more that I've done in here. I didn't think that was this far back though, towards the front. I did the Nutcrackers. Ah, and I did the Gingerbread House, and this was done with ink tents. All of it was done with ink tents. Apart, yeah, it was all done with ink tents. Um, and then there's some stickles on it as well and some glitter glue. So, I think, was, I'm sure there's another one. Maybe there's not, maybe I'm thinking of another book. But anyway, so, and I've done the, most of the front. I haven't done the letter in here. But I think I might do that with gel pens. Next one is Secret Garden. Again, I've only done one in this. You hear that a lot of me because I'm trying to colour in every single book. It's better than that. And I did this double page spread. I really like this one. It took me ages. A little bit, of, little bit of shadow, a little bit of light. You know, I don't know. I liked it. It took me a long time. But I'm quite pleased with that one. I do like this book. I've got to revisit all the books, but I need to colour in the ones I haven't got. Do you know what I mean? I haven't coloured in some, so I've got to do them. But I also want to colour in the books I have. And I think next month I'm just going to have a month where I colour whatever I want, in whatever I want. Um, the only exception being, I'm trying to colour my colour in heavens, but that's because I get them every month. Or every four weeks. Doctor Who colouring book. This was the first one they brought out. I've got the other one as well. I've done one at the front here somewhere. Um, and I did the Weeping Angels. Quite like that one. <clears throat> um, I think that's done with Prisma Colours and Pebbles Chalks for the sky and background. And then the next one is Under the Sea. <sighs> Here we go, trying to pronounce this again. Mesdamoiselles, Mesdamoiselles, again this was so cheap, it was two quids in the works and I've done one double page spread, I did these little squids and this was prism colour pencils because there's only two colours and I know I nearly used up this salmon pink just, just doing them and then the bubbles and the little mouths are, which are red, are stickles, I like that one Next is, uh, we're near the end now, The Time Garden by Daria Song. Again, I've only done one in here and I did this double, double page spread of her lying in the sky looking at the stars and it took forever. Um, I used black Posca on the background, which is why this, you know, and then I used glitter gel pens for the stars. And I was just gonna do more gold and silver. And I thought, no, let's just make them all different colors. So there's that one. But at this point I hadn't found a red in the glitter that I liked. Now of course I've found the Link Shines and it's my favourite red. So there's that one. So yeah, I will do more of that. They are quite detailed pictures, but I, and I picked that because there wasn't a lot to it, even though there was a lot to it. You know, it wasn't full of, well that's not too bad, but it wasn't full of like 
these patterns and things. So there's that one. I like that book. Good memories of when I bought that as well. Uh, Assemblage Snova by Tomislav Tomek. I need to get the other one. I've only done one in here and that's the fairy playing the harp. And I think that was Prismacolors. I wouldn't guarantee it. There is some glitter on there so it's probably, yeah, I feel like that's stickles. Um, or, yeah, you're going to say it's, it's stickles um, on the bugs and on her wings and a bit on her dress actually. <laughs> a bit everywhere. That one took forever to do. I'm not going to lie. And I think there's some pebble chalks on the background. There was a time when I used pebble chalks on everything. And it's like everything, you, you stop using it and then you think, I haven't used this for a while, but I'm going to do this picture and I think that would look nice. So I'm glad I've got them. And I do want, still want to get the other ones. Last two books. The next one is Serene by Nick Filbert. I love this book. I'm afraid to colour in this book and I've only done one picture in this book. Although I do want to do the angel one. And the one I did was the Sun Maiden and this was done using the Touch New Markers and I'm not brilliant with markers but I'm I am quite pleased with the way that came out you know I really am so this paper is absolutely brilliant for markers you see it went through and I did put something underneath it even though it's come through again there but that's fine because I might acrylic paint that background when I do it. So the next one I want to do in this one is if I find it. I haven't found it yet. Is this angel? So I'm gonna do it with a grays. Um I'll to use a pencil, pens, and then I think I might do it or go over the top, but I'm not there yet. I've got lots more to do before I get back to that one. And the last one is from my little art gallery, uh, Colourful Mandalas, and these ones are coming out. So it has actually come out, so. But they're meant to come out. You're supposed to put them on the wall and just don't see that they just pull out very easily. So it doesn't really bother me. They're too big to put in a folder. But the card is so thick. But, so this was done with Sharpies and I've just done that one so far. And I just picked four colours. Full bright, full, full bright colours and did it like that so I quite enjoyed that one so that is everything I've ever coloured um, up until January 1st 2020 um, so I hope you've enjoyed looking at everything I've coloured over the years um, I've coloured in January because you'll be seeing this before the end of the month I hope one, two, three, four, five, six at the moment so I'm hoping to be about ten but it depends. It might be a bit more, might be less, depending on when I can get some done. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a big thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to comment down below. Let me know what your favourites were, what books you like. If you want to see any flip throughs, I've said, I say this in all the videos, just let me know if there's something you want me to flip through and I will. There might already be a flip through for it on my channel. If there is, you know, just have a quick look and you know or ask me and if I've done it I'll let you know where it is um subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video and I'll, I'll, isn't this cute <laughs> and I'll see you later bye <laughs>